don't show. like it. <laughs> Get your own show, Cardboard Cody. Yeah. yeah. Get out of yeah. here, Cardboard. <laughs> Easter is coming up on <laughs> Sunday, of course, and uh, traditions abound. Very traditional this holiday. But how did some of the more popular ones come to be? On the daily list this morning, I've got three that kids can't live without and why we do them every year at Easter time. Number one, the Easter Bunny. The tradition of an Easter time rabbit was brought to the U.S. by German settlers to Pennsylvania. When they settled in America in the 1700s, they brought this tradition with them to Pennsylvania. The tradition even included children leaving carrots out for the bunny, much like leaving cookies for Santa. Hmm. Oh. All right, number two, why do we do Easter baskets every year? Well, the Easter basket was originally more of an Easter nest. Children would make nests filled with grass in the hopes that Peter Cottontail would fill the nest with eggs, which then evolved into candy versions which uh, kept a little better than real eggs. The nests gradually evolved into baskets which were less messy, bigger and of course easier to carry. And that's why they have Easter grass in there of course as well for the eggs. And number three, hollow chocolate bunnies. It's not just a way to skimp on chocolate. You ever try to bite the ears off a chocolate bunny that's solid? Yeah. It can't be done. Well, in 1939, chocolate manufacturers wanted a way to make chocolate bunnies that could be big and decorative, but still easy to eat. Making oh. hollow bunnies was also a way for manufacturers to sell larger products at a cheaper price and way easier to bite the ears off of. All right. <laughs> for more Easter traditions and why we do them in the first place, go to GoodDaySacramento.com. Click Show Info there at the top of the page.